it's Jackie and welcome back to my vlog channel. This is the moving out vlog. So I mentioned in my previous vlog that I'm moving from Manhattan to St. Augustine, Florida. I'm really excited about it. So um, I'll kind of fill you in. I took a couple clips throughout the last couple weeks. Tyler has a new job and I am so excited to be leaving Manhattan. I know it's a lot of people's dream to live there and it's an amazing place, but if you don't like love it, don't stay there because it's so expensive and I could make a pros and cons list if you guys wanted to see that from my perspective, but in a nutshell, it's just busy and chaotic and I don't have enough space to make the work I want to be making. So I'm really excited to see what Florida has to offer and I'll take you guys along with me. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. a lot of vintage antique shops. That's so cool. We drove to St. Augustine, which I love. I've never been here before and I feel like I'm in a castle. So we're gonna check it out and hopefully see if there's anything available. So this is the first house we're looking at. Okay. A lot bigger than Manhattan. <laughs> this bathroom. excited I really hope we get that place and today we're just um, traveling around so we're at the nearest outdoor mall and I love this one it's in Jacksonville and yeah we're gonna have a shopping day get some gifts for um, family friends and family members because we've been staying with them and they've been like cooking for us and everything so it's been really nice and yeah I'll show you this mall put a hat on November 1st. Mid packing. Our one bedroom is filled with boxes. We have the house that we're gonna live in in Florida and we drove from Florida to Georgia where Tyler's parents are and we got a car, drove up to New York and we can move in to our new house now. So my amazing parents came up and helped me pack up. We decided to move like very quickly. So we've been doing all of the, you know, moving checklists that takes a while. And you can just wait. What are we? even though I am excited to leave, there are some amazing things about living on the Upper West Side. So I wanted to show you some of my favorites. On Sundays, there are open streets, so it's calmer. We don't hear all the traffic and there's a lot of live music. There's our apartment right there. Starbucks is directly across the street. And then we have Zucker's. Truly the food is the main thing I'll miss. We have Alice's teacup right across. Yeah, I'll get a ginger molasses cookie. Okay. An art cafe, I highly recommend. We go there quite a bit. You wanted to be alone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and the carbonara is amazing. The only thing I would get repeatedly. The convenience of having everything in a couple blocks. Oh, and I love the Strand Bookstore. I got this tote as a souvenir. And I'm sure I'll find my faves in Florida, but nothing will compare to this hole in the wall pizza place that we got all the time. Yeah. Ooh, they have the grandma sleigh. Three yeah. at one, grandma. Yeah. Okay, one one, one veggie, thank you. 
It's good. We've had like three this week. Actually, no. I don't. Two slices of corn? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn it off. Do the Oops. And Magnolia Bakery. If you ever are here, definitely get the banana pudding. It's so good. Mm. Oh, it's in my hair. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Huh? And me and Tyler did go to the Met quite a few times together, sometimes just for filming videos out front or to look around, but we've never been to the Frit Collection. Bye, New York. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's freaking cold. We're excited to move to Florida, but the Met was too busy, so we're going to the Frit. This is the first day it's been cold, yeah. and we're out here. <laughs> Tyler loves books. The Fred collection was gorgeous. I picked up some things from the gift shop. I love this one and it wasn't badly priced and I'm gonna love having coffee in this. Pretty sirens. <laughs> I am filming the next couple days here before I drive all the way down. But me and my boyfriend wanted, well fiance, wanted to go take some photos in Central Park or maybe I just did. But I have my hair done for this video I filmed with Dyson and hopefully we still have a little bit of light left. So let's head to Central Park. Package area where things are frequently stolen. I take this. Just act nonchalant, it's okay. okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's one of our last days and we're headed to Bryant Park, which is one of my favorite parks. And it looks very Parisian and I am in a Emily in Paris inspired look because I am filming a um, sponsored TikTok with Lancome because they have an Emily in Paris collection. I'm gonna get a croissant. It's gonna be a nice night. So we found a very Parisian area here. You can see the statue. So we're taking some clips and I have the Emily in Paris fragrance. I'm excited for you guys to see this TikTok and it's already the Christmas market. So we're gonna go check out some of these booths. Maybe I'll get some Christmas presents. And it's such a nice day. I got this scarf from Amazon, by the way. This hat is thrifted. This shirt is also Amazon. And then this skirt is Macy's. So we'll have everything linked. <laughs> look, look, it's indestructible. <laughs> so I'm still doing a flat lay. So we got a croissant and a latte. And we're just gonna put them over this green table and get the final shot. 
and then go shopping. Oh, there he is, holding my Uggs. <laughs> but it feels like 7 p.m. already and I got a couple of things from the um, market so first I got this New Yorker puzzle Christmas in the attic this is for my mom and then me and Tyler have been re-watching Harry Potter we have re-watched this quite a few times now and I got him this Harry Potter mug it's also for me too <laughs> getting rid of yet another couch. We don't know how we're gonna get this desk over. It's been a bit of a mess this move, but it is the last day and I'm meeting up with my friend Catherine and Vanessa. It worked out that they're in the city, so we're gonna get um, breakfast in Soho and I've known them since middle school in Belgium. So me, Tyler, Catherine, and Vanessa all know each other from that time and uh, I never go to Soho, so I'm excited. I usually really stick around the Upper West Side. Oh. Okay, I'm here with Tyler, Catherine, and Vanessa. Yay! <laughs> Aww, love you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the cops before our car gets towed. I'm wearing this thrifted sweater that Brooke Shields wore. And we're leaving Soho. <laughs> And this video was really fun to create, like showing you guys all my favorite places. It really is a magical place. The pandemic was hard to live here. Like Tyler moved into my one bedroom apartment in the pandemic. The final walkthrough of 1A. So we have this very bizarre little tiny corner here that we couldn't get any furniture through. So you walk in, there's a closet here. And then we have this hallway, this very retro, old looking bathroom. There we go, we broke that window. Uh oh, not gonna get the security deposit back. We would always wonder how flies were getting into our apartment and that is a hole that we can't fix like between the windows just cause the windows are so old and like dirty and they wouldn't let us clean them cause they break. So yeah, there was always flies because our garbage was down there. So it was nasty. <laughs> and we're trying to sell this desk. Here's the tiniest kitchen. Look at this. We did not cook here, like at all. Here's the bedroom. The little closet. We had some storage up there. It did have very tall ceilings, which was nice. You can hear the hissing of this thing. But I will miss this view. We both were working in the same space. Everything was closed down. It was cold through the winter. So it was us like 24 seven in this room, like not a lot of space at all. So I mean, we're engaged. So clearly it worked out and everything, but it'll be nice to have more space. And it also did feel really unsafe here. So when I moved in, I loved this neighborhood. And then there was like a lot of open drug use through the pandemic and um, Things were getting stolen. There was a shooting um, on the block. Like I could see all the police cars go right from my window. That was like two weeks ago. So it's getting a little better, but I can't wait to feel safe again, have more space. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully that didn't sound too negative, but I do want to paint like the picture of what it was like because as pretty as like, you know, my Instagram stories are when I'm in Central Park, which is still my favorite place. Um, it was it was kind of rough <laughs> so anyways i will see you guys in my next florida vlog and uh get excited bye